Hi there. Thank you so much for reading this week's twos letter. Uh, my family and I just got back from a magical vacation in Florida. You can probably guess where. Um, we are exhausted. It is when I'm making this video Monday morning, re-entering after our April vacation. So the re-entry was a little rough this morning, getting everybody off to school and back off to work again. But here I am. And so there were so many questions about the paint tray from my last video. And a couple of people wanted to know, well, instead of breaking it down by phoneme and grapheme, how did you use it if you were to syllabicate words? So I've been using it quite a bit for phoneme, grapheme, mapping in that way. Um, but you definitely can use the paint tray for uh, syllabication practice if you'd like instead. So this is the method that I would use. So I used, I'm just hosting up and holding up an example here. So I used the word podcast in here. I'm like, oh, that's a good word. I hope you're subscribing to my podcast, by the way. Okay, so um, you can see on the paint tray, there are these little circles. So wrote the word there and identify the vowels and the consonants. And then in the next section, well, I'm sorry, up here in this section, you could label the syllable types. So two closed syllables, the line of division there and then podcast, and then read it podcast. And um, this is a dry erase surface. If you hadn't seen the last video, definitely check that out and you can see how I used it with um, just straight um, spelling practice with pho the phonemes and the graphemes. And I had, I used um, some bubble poppers with those as well. So um, really, really versatile tool um, and I'm hoping that I can make one more video to show you how I would use it if I were breaking words down by morphemes instead and uh, breaking those apart. So, um, I'll put the link to this in the twos letter. Um, uh, hope you're having a great week and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.